going on guys it is Wednesday December 1st new month new day anyways um starting this video off a little bit later it's about 5 520 right now I had work in the morning and then I had the haircut and I had some errands to do you know just a bunch of different errands but for today like yeah anyways yeah like I just got my haircut just got out of there continuing to grow out my hair and see what type of style I can do and then um, go from there but um today's plan is sumos and leg accessories and it is a Thursday Tuesday I was too damn tired I I just kind of like slept through the whole day until the next day so I did pull on Wednesday instead and then now Today is going to be my sumo day. So I'm going to I'm gonna figure out what I'm going to do or my repetition, my sets, and kind of go from there. But, um, yeah. I also want to show you guys, like, my setup and what I'm thinking. Like, I just want to give you guys tips of what you guys can do to improve your sumo form and it it can be even crossed over to conventionals like just loading but they are two different deadlifts so I can't say that you can cross over but yeah so I'll catch you guys later at the gym I'm gonna do a few more errands before then and yeah so after my errands I got back home I was dizzy or like I was dizzy on the way back home and I thought it was because I didn't eat or maybe I was dehydrated I thought I was getting enough water I don't know I don't know what happened I was like super dizzy so I ended up just taking a nap like a two two hour nap and um, yeah I, I feel much better now who knows hopefully it's not an ongoing problem, you know, it was just a little minor thing. But um, I'm headed to the gym now. Got my ghost legend, the sour, the Warhead Sour Watermine. It's really, really good. I love it. Anyways, so the plan for sumos is gonna be I've been changing it up too lately for sumos just because I really want to focus on bringing it up, bringing up my weight. So I'm doing that 70% like how I'm doing it on my bench, three sets of five and slowly increasing it up by five pounds, five to 10 pounds and doing three sets of five and then AMRAP set. So. I'm gonna head to the gym now. I also want to show you guys a little warm up I I found and learned on Instagram. It's by another mild detox pr practitioner. So um, I'll tag his name, his Instagram below, or in the in this clip. All right, so here's the the warm up I found by Dr. Jacob Harden. I'll link his uh, instant his Instagram below or in this clip right now and um, the video is hip prep for the squat and he has a more detailed explanation on how to do it um, but here's a brief explanation that I'm going to show you guys so you guys want to line up the down leg the knee to the heel of your other leg where you're gonna it's gonna basically mimic a squat and so the majority of weights stays with the down leg as you shift over into your hip your other hip and you want to do this very slowly and each time trying to go deeper 
like J Dr. Jacob Harden says, go deeper every time as the soft tissue opens up and just really warms up the, the hip, in my opinion. And you can do this based off on your squat. If you're narrow, wide, in the middle, it's all really works towards each individual. And, and I already did some reps before this, but you generally want to do about 10 to 20 reps on each side, taking it slow, you know. And you, you can use your hands up there for balance. I had a little trouble time trying to figure out the balance, but over time, it got easier. I also wanted to show you guys some tips on the sumos that I keep in mind. And so starting, I make sure, I don't know, for some reason I make sure it's aligned evenly on the platform. That's, you can do, it doesn't really matter in my opinion, as long as you align your legs to the bar itself. But, you know, I, I don't know, it just makes, Lining it up on the platform makes me, I don't know, more confident. And how, what I'm doing right here, I'm saying like, you wanna keep your elbows basically tucked in, in towards your lats or to tighten up your lats or your pinch like an egg in your armpits. And as I'm setting up, I'm thinking of like, kinda like breaking the bar that's another way to really tighten up those lats because you for for the deadlifts you want to tighten up your lats just so you stay tight throughout your whole your whole spine and you want to I'm as I'm tightening up my lats I'm also lo loading my glutes and hamstrings as I'm sitting back and I'll show you guys again with uh, 225 as you can see I make sure everything's aligned and I make sure my my stance is aligned with the bar and for me I, I, don't, I don't go that wide just because I have shorter legs but I just go wide to a point where I can be as wide as possible but yet yeah, comfortable so I'm tightening my lats. That's a little pre-tighten, and but like pre-setup, I make sure I tighten. There you go, and load my glutes, and explode off from the heels. Cause you don't you don't want to be on your toes on this one. You want to be sitting back as much as possible for the sumos. That way, less on your lower back and just mainly using your glutes and hamstrings to pull it up and I'll show you guys once again on 315 here's another way you guys can try if you're just starting out for sumos you can try this out because like you want to mimic kind of being on a chair sitting down on a chair so like I just showed you want to slowly Keep your back straight and then go down and as soon as you touch the bar grab it and pull it up you can start that with the lower weight just so that you get used to being more upright and you can kind of get a feeling of when your glutes and hamstrings are loaded because that is basically when you want to pull in my opinion so I'll show you guys this is 315 now it's still another warm-up for me I believe
<laughs> I forgot to uh, do my belt that time. And for me, for the lever belt, I like to put it backwards just because the lever does get in the way for me for sumos. I don't know why, but it is what it is. And I, I believe after this rep, I I uh, unlevered the lever belt because it was a little too tight. And as you saw, see, like I I made sure my glutes and hamstrings were loaded, and my my lats were tight. And as you can see, I unlevered. It was a little too tight. So, lats tight. There you go. And you want to keep your neck as neutral as possible as well. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the workout. And here is, I believe, four sets of singles. And you guys will see why. Alright, as you guys saw, I only got one. Um, I'm, I'm getting a little, starting to get a little dizzy again, like from earlier. I don't know what it is. And, um, but like that, that one rep felt good, but like I didn't want to like push it if I knew I wasn't gonna be able to get it. But, um, yeah, it's just working with what I have. And also, I think my stabilizers are still a little weak. So I definitely want to work on strengthening my stabilizers, getting back into the squat, because that could also be affecting my sumos where um because it's like if you don't use it you're gonna lose it so i need to strengthen my stabilizers and make sure you know they're back to par and i don't know i just gotta get that going but hopefully with learning more about mobility and how our body is the way it is and why it acts like that then I wanna I wanna be able to fix my problem and you know surpass surpass where I'm at right now I'm just gonna probably do uh, singles five sets of singles of this but um yeah like load it felt good loading my glutes and hamstrings pulling off the ground is just, I don't know, like, it could be a mentality thing, but honestly, like, I was dizzy earlier, and I'm starting to get dizzy again, so it's like, All right, so finished up with the five sets of singles of the 370. That is not my one rep max. I know I can do better than that. And um, that warm up, the hip, it's a hip, it's a hip mobility warm up where it also warms up your glutes and hamstrings. Like I'm gonna, like I explained in the clip. But uh, it really, it really did help me a lot. Like I felt very, or not loose, not like very, very loose, but like I felt loose. My hips were loose, and my my um, glutes and hamstrings were already warmed up and ready to be engaged and just lifted up. But like for some reason today, like I said, I was super dizzy. I don't know why. Like I'm just trying to knock out 
the rest of this workout pretty quick and just head home and eat a little bit and just get headed to bed. But um, yeah, now, anyways, that is done. Now I'm gonna hit some uh, leg press and then some some uh, stiff deads and so on, some accessories. So I thought I tried something new. Um, found this on Instagram once again, and uh, it's dumbbell leg line dumbbell lying leg hurdles. So what I'm using is the decline uh, bench, and then choosing a dumbbell and putting it between my feet, right in the middle, right there, and then uh, curling it like a regular leg curl machine. But if I already tried a couple sets, felt pretty damn good. Not gonna lie, and uh, yeah, so here it is. All right, so pretty good workout besides the fact that I wasn't able to hit what I wanted on sumos, but I'm not gonna let that bother me. Um, so after the dumbbell line curls, I just finished off with some accessories and then um, some stretching afterwards. <sighs> Anyways, now I'm going to head back home, grab something to eat real quick, and call it a night. I got school tomorrow, but um, I really hope you guys enjoyed the, the information I try to give out. And um, I hope you guys will be able to use that information to help, you guys, help yourselves out and, you know, better yourselves with mobility and health and... Just taking care of your own body so I'm gonna figure out what to do with this dizziness thing hopefully it's nothing and uh, yeah so I'm gonna catch you guys later hope you guys like the video peace